Benko is a, a manufacturing business that primarily supplies the agricultural industry with various intricate and high precision parts. We ship all over the world, into the US, Brazil, Canada, Netherlands as well. Spenko is a very old school engineering company with some extremely skilled engineers here who know what they're doing. Whenever you talk to anybody who deals with Spenko, they always talk about the quality of the product. We're a certified ISO 9001. We've just had our recertification now with no non-conformances. It's to make sure that we are able to supply products of a, not just an excellent quality, but be able to be repeatable as well. It's not just about the quality of the product, it's about the quality of the service, quality of your people, quality of your training, your health and safety. We have some huge clients, including Agco, CNH, JCB, and loads more of international companies who keep coming back because they know how good the quality here is. We've got heat treatment plants, We've got actually spline roll, friction welders, we've got brooches. Some of these are very old machines, but are still very robust and work very, very well. So this is a process called spline rolling. It's very similar to the conventional methods of spline cutting, but this process uses two tools to roll this spline on here, which makes a much stronger spline Spline rolling actually presses these indentations or splines into a, a bar. You're actually rolling the spline onto the bar at about a pressure of about 10,000 psi. This part will go into the machine against the tailstock. The two tools will then come across and produce the spline. We are experts in this field. All right, there's no doubt about it. We actually produce parts for Aston Martin. The advantage of the spline rolling is it's a much stronger spline due to the process of forming rather than cutting. But also the cycle time for this is much quicker. It's about a third of the time to actually producing the cut spline. This rolling process can actually align the splines as well due to fixturization, which you can see with this part has dead teeth on each of these splines aligning all three of them so they function together at the same time. Hobbing's uh, a similar process to spline rolling, except that you're actually cutting the splines into a piece of metal. This process takes longer than the spline rolling, but the initial outlay on the cost of the tooling is a lot less. So this is more suited towards your smaller batch production. As you can see, the cutter rotating as well as the part rotating, thus forming the spline on the part. It is more accurate, there's no doubt about it. And the same with gear generation, you're actually cutting the gears into a, a diameter shaft. You can see this part here has been spline cut. You can see that there's a slight run out on the spline. That's meaning that we can't hob it up to a shoulder like this. So this machine is very similar to the spline cutting machine. The only difference with this one is the part rotates and the cutter goes up and down. This allows us to actually produce a spline up to a shoulder rather than having the run out that we saw earlier with the hob cutting. Friction welder, it's a old process where you actually rotate two bits of steel and it melts together. For example, you'll see on this machine, this part will rotate, this part will stay static, it will create the friction, which then uses four tons of pressure to push them together to enable them to be welded together and give us a finished product like this. You'll see it actually glowing red hot when it actually melts together. It's an absolutely brutal process, but a fantastic process. This is used for two different things. One, you can weld dissimilar materials together, but also if you are making a big part to a small part, you can friction weld them, which will reduce your use of material and your extra cost that you would need in your machining process to actually produce this part. It's actually known that, that a friction welded join is stronger than the parent material. So instead of welding it, you might, you know, a traditional welder would just weld a seam around it. With friction welding, you're actually welding two parts completely together. All our higher skilled operators are all 20 years plus. We're focusing a lot of time at the moment. It's 
to move some of our processes into much more modern machinery. But we've got to remember our heritage because this is the most important foundation of where our superior quality comes from.